Who's that? Hey, you're disturbing the air around us. Uh, sorry, I know I'm farting a lot today. <coughs> Oops. Hmm, guess you took in a lot of carbon dioxide for lunch yesterday. <coughs> oh, yeah, could be. <coughs> Did you just hear them, friends? Oh no, not their farts. <laughs> And that reminds me that I need to tell you about the process of excretion in plants. Come with me. Zoom in. Just like humans, plants do feel the need to remove all sorts of waste material from their bodies. However, plants have a much simpler process of excretion. Hey, did you know that plants sweat? Well, yes. Just like humans have sweat glands, Plants have small openings under their leaves called stomata that release water and oxygen. Just how the pores of your body release sweat. But their waste material is a lot more useful than ours. <laughs> plants also release waste by accumulating it in the vacuoles of aging leaf cells. The leaves then fall off, eventually removing the waste material. This process is known as abscission. Don't you sometimes have dry skin that eventually falls off? Yep, kinda same. Have you noticed leaves changing their color in autumn? This happens mostly because of the waste pigments that start getting stored inside the leaves. See the sticky fluid? Well, this is another kind of waste produced by the plants, which is often oozed out from the bark of trees. Apart from the sticky fluid, there are other waste products like resins, gums and latex. But hey, you got to be careful because sometimes these products can be poisonous. But most of the other times, they are quite useful. For example, latex is used to produce gloves and clothing. Trivia time! The bark of a willow tree produces a chemical that helps in the making of aspirin, a medicine for pain and fever. Oak leaves turn brown due to the waste material in them. So friends, plant more and more trees because they are the reason why you can breathe. Well, that didn't rhyme. You got to stay tuned till next time. This is me zooming out. <laughs>